dramatic rescue on Sunday saved the lives of 400 African migrants after their boat hit the rocks off the Italian island of Lampedusa. On Monday, Britain's Guardian newspaper carried the harrowing tale of another voyage that ended in disaster. 72 people, including women and young children from five African countries, adrift in Mediterranean waters for 16 days. Their cries for help ignored the Guardian claims by European and NATO military units. All but 11 died from thirst and hunger. How much is too much? Should a line be drawn? Well, this morning a lot of people are talking about this on our Facebook page at KNBC.com. A baby patted down by security at KCI. KNBC 9's Justin Robinson is live right now at KCI with what people are saying, including the TSA. Justin, hi. Good morning, Chris and Donna. Well, the baby we're talking about was just 18 months old when the baby got patted down going through security on Saturday. And we had a chance to talk with several people as we're out here outside of the Southwest Airlines gate here at KCI Airlines. Many people just got to see this picture that you're looking at right now for the first time this morning when I talked to them. Listen to their reaction. Better be safe than sorry. I mean, you said that the uh, parents were cooperative and it didn't seem to bother them and things. And there's a lot of crazies in the world, and you never know what's going to happen. So, you know, I don't want to be up there in a plane and and uh, somebody sneak something through or something like that. So it did seem kind of intrusive, but given this day and time and what's going on around the world, I can understand. On another side, if that was my baby, I'm not sure how I could handle it. Well, how this situation has become public was well, someone took a photograph, obviously, as the baby was getting patted down. That photograph was then given to a blogger. It was put online, and uh, uh, people started talking about it from there. The person did contact the TSA. The TSA said that the uh, employees were just following protocol in this situation. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, May 11th, 2011, and I'm Darko. Welcome to this news bulletin, everyone. This is part four, the final part for today. My website's www.ggnonline.com. This is ggnonline.com. And uh, I have a lot of articles to cover in this last video. I wish I could show more videos, but I just don't have enough time. Um, most of the links, if not all, will be posted in the uh, video subscription. And my channel is ddarko2012 on YouTube. Alarming combo bed bugs with superbug germ found. And Canadian scientists detected drug-resistant staph bacteria in bed bugs from three hospital patients from a downtrodden Vancouver neighborhood. And uh, a new European study recently published in the Journal of American Medical Association defies conventional wisdom concerning salt intake and heart health, suggesting that high salt consumption does not always lead to high blood pressure and heart disease. Of course, those are all the pharmaceutical companies trying to sell you drugs that tell you that. Vitamin D and, of course, the ones who back up a lot of the research. All right, we have vitamin D infantile infections linked. Insufficient levels of vitamin D at the time of birth are associated with a higher risk of developing infantile lung uh, infections. And then we have acetaminophen. I can't pronounce that, but it's a top-selling painkiller, and uh, it's tied to blood cancer. So you can go that and uh, check that out. Then we have new report, risk of cholesterol drugs, and this is based on a study of 226,000 people taking CLDs. The report says that muscle pain and weakness occurred in many as one of third of the patients with moderate or severe muscle pain in 100 to 300 women. Okay, and then next we have extensive screening for blood clots causing dangerous treatments. And then we have audit finds widespread use of antipsychotic drugs in nursing homes. About one in seven elderly residents of nursing homes received a so-called atypical antipsychotic medicine. A federal audit finds despite an increased risk of death when the medicines are used to manage dementia in older people. And of course they found that what people uh, I covered this in an article that uh, people that are put into these old people's homes are actually more prone to have dementia to lose their memory but when they're not and they're out and about and functioning uh, or at least around the family members people you know people that can really really care for them um, they tend to have their wits about them so go figure huh says here vaccine could rid body of HIV, but J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson recalls HIV drug after finding smelly chemical. So it says here FDA OK's first micro-injection flu vaccine. So they just approved the first influenza vaccine administered through a novel intradermal micro-injection. So line up 
and get one of those suckers. North Carolina School District to give away iPod and laptop to children who participate in vaccination contests. So, drug regulator accused of harming patients with secrecy. And go in there and check that out. Saying scientists say data must be released to allow the true benefits and harms of drugs. In other words, it's just uh, basically all these drugs are to uh, basically uh, to test the research that is done is to test the the eugenics. In other words, all these pills that they're giving people or people are taking, they want to make sure that it's actually causing the harm that it was intended to do. So see the people go there and they get these all these pills that are supposed to help them, but really it's doing other things. And they want to make sure that it's, that it's killing them and it's harming them like it should be. So that's what they're talking about. They're not letting the slaves and the customers know that. Moving on to the Japanese crisis, Japan detects radiation up to 700 milliserverts at Fukushima nuclear plant. And then we have Japan crisis. TEPCO agrees conditions for state aid. Operator Japan's crisis hit nuclear plant has agreed to drastic restructuring in return for government help paying a huge compensation bill. And of course, it is what? It says here 34 billion or 5 trillion uh, yen. So it says here Minnesota Senate okays vote on gay marriage ban and then Uganda's anti-gay bill is far from dead. Moving on here we have the Presbyterian Church USA approves ordination of homosexuals. Then we have 6.1 magnitude quake hits China and Russia border. So an earthquake that was supposed to strike, uh, well, today, May 11th, Romans rattled by quake. Rumor, despite reassurances, didn't happen yet, but Spain was hit by a quake. And um, we have here, campaign to ban wild circus animals wins huge public support. Talking about that right there. Uh, here's the article that I talked to you about. Prince Charles tells America to cut down on stakes for the sake of the world, just like don't have any babies for the sake of the planet. Queen's reign becomes second longest in British history. And then we have Vatican appointed panel warns of climate change. So now the Pope's talking about extraterrestrials and climate change. He is a he was a Hitler youth, and I think you should just put that in consideration. National emergency alert system set to launch in New York City. We covered that. Then we have looking to speed security for frequent flyers. So major shift in procedure TSA is working on a concept that could let trusted travelers. I wonder who those are. Those are the good little sheep that don't mind getting poked and prodded and molested or radiated at the airport just to go on a freaking flight, right? Here we go. Air passengers lunch uh, details to be stored in terrorism plan. Then get ready. The last pleasant way to to travel is about to be hell talking about trains and of course right after that they had to do this oh Amtrak's Boston New York City service restored after bomb threat near station so CIA or one of those agencies basically called in a bomb threat to make sure they legitimize their clamping down all based off what a false notion of terror and fear based right no fair no fly suspicious friends could land you on an airline no fly list simply knowing someone suspected of terrorist activities could land you on a canada's no fly list according to an internal document the government tried to keep secret so u.s defense frisking of baby at the airport and that's right and those people the slaves they're all for it so hey so it's here obama administration fights to allow warrantless gps tracking then cyber warfare rules included in defense bills so check that out then uh, next on the activist post u.s a new push to break china internet firewall and they plan to pump millions of dollars in a new technology to break through the internet censorship overseas amid a heightening crackdown of dissent in China. Then China reportedly wanted spy base in East Timur. Then we have DARPA's automated video surveillance will end public anonymity. It says to be in public is to be on camera, but most video footage is discarded and it says as only so much can be sorted and analyzed until now. DARPA has created a technology that can index and analyze video in real time, marking the end of anonymity in public areas. And of course, it was really never meant to keep all that privacy or anonymity. Sorry. And we have uh, Cleveland uh, e totalitarianism at Google. Information behemoth scorns ethics, protecting privacy and property. So Google's "Don't be evil" slogan is seductive but misleading. It is the lowest business ethics standard ever devised, excusing everything Google does short of evil. Google isn't evil, but neither is it ethical. So, and Google is just a front for what? NSA it says here, Google wants to control your home. It says first Google dominated the web with a search. Now it, uh, then it ruled mobile devices with Android. Now Google wants to control everything inside your home. Talking about 
a new system so go in there and check that out more spooky stuff apple and google grilled over privacy concerned and not really grilled it's just a big charade and a show that's what it is in texas schools a picture is worth a thousand calories and it says here health officials trying to reduce obesity and improve eating habits at five elementary schools in san antonio unveiled a two million dollar research project wednesday that will photograph students lunch trays before they sit down to eat and later take a snapshot of the leftovers there we go. Best I fix it teardown ever. FBI tracking bug. So you can go in there and check that out. And uh, yeah, there was one individual that actually found it and tried to sell it on eBay. And he had a SWAT team show up at his house asking for his bug back, asking for their bug back. Police and military trial 3D tracking technology. So Scotland Yard and Ministry of Defense, MOD, are each investigating a software program that can track a suspect's movements online. So it creates a three-dimensional graphic of a person's movements and communications, gathering information from sources such as financial transactions, mobile phone calls, satellite navigation equipment, wonder what that is, and social networking sites set up by the CIA, such as Facebook. And it uh, says here, Tweet News Voter ID Bill denies many Wisconsinites the right to vote. And I like that. No games. So, and uh, yeah, that's how it all works, right? If you don't have a house then or a residence and you're homeless, oh, you lose the right to vote. Isn't that very uh, patriotic and free, isn't it? That's great. Flexible e-paper phone unveiled. So there you go. Just making it more easy or making it easier to uh, be tracked by your government. Facebook profile access leaked claims. So access to hundreds of thousands of Facebook accounts may have accidentally, accidentally been leaked because of a flaw in some applications. Right. And the whole purpose of that is collect information, right? And that's why they have this volunteer force of 100,000 to get millions more online. So they want to uh, get more people to use the internet so they can, what, get basically have you voluntarily give up all your personal information and tell them where you're going. You know, be a good slave. Tell the government where you're going at all times. It says here, Israel, oh yeah, and when pre crime comes, just in case you start to think about doing something bad, you'll be arrested before you do it. Israel to funnel millions towards satellite upgrade report. And Israel, that's right, most of the intelligence that's gathered throughout the world goes through Israeli companies. Israel revoking Palestinian ID cards. Then we have Israeli forces, tanks cross into Gaza. Isra Israelis. Uh, stability depends on Syria. Then we have European Union imposes arms embargo on Syria. Syria tanks shell protest city of Homs. Then we have so much for Libyan rebel ex oil exports. Gaddafi forces destroy last fuel tanks under rebel control. NATO land offensive now unavoidable. So there will be boots on the ground if they're not there already. Libyan opposition takes Misrata airport. And then we have battle for Libya shifts in desert sands as Gaddafi loyalists target oil fields. So if they can't have them, or yeah, if they can handle, if they can't have them, basically they don't want anyone else to have them, which is basically they're trying to take out their central bank, take out their oil resources and their sovereignty. UN chief calls for immediate Libya ceasefire, which is a bunch of pooey, right? Because what? Gaddafi's been calling for a ceasefire, but they won't allow it because they want him to step down. See, that was their puppet for a while, and now they're done with him, and they want to take over the country. And um, and uh, Gaddafi's like, hell no. So he's not going to leave, right? Then we have Yemeni troops uh, shoot protesters and kill two people fear that the u.s could grab nuclear arsenals heightens pakistani anger no it's because the cia is drone bombing women and children almost on a daily basis and they're getting really pissed off and then they have cia agents running around uh, shooting citizens in pakistan so i think they're a little more angry about that than um you know them coming for their nuclear weapons it has nothing to do with and look at this story, and it says here, Take the Air Force Academy, which reportedly held a ceremony on Tuesday to dedicate a pile of rocks in the Academy's worship area for followers of Earth-centered religions. So, and this is in Pakistan. So, troops are practicing paganism. It says here, Iraq Prime Minister opens door to longer U.S. troop presence. Well, that was the plan. Why build million, multi-billion dollar uh, bases, embassies, if you're not going to stay there. Uh, backstory, Iran's Revolutionary Guard establishing training squads in Latin America. Then beware of lone wolves in aftermath of bin Laden so-called killing Obama. We could not say definitively that bin Laden was there. Then bin Laden, death now part of Obama's re-election campaign. Obama's approval hit 60%, twice as high as it was. And $50 million bounty for Osama bin Laden should go to 9-11 victims, New York Poll said. This is GGN, and I'm Darko.
Thank you.